What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? Many men have anxiety and or depression but we will not talk about and will get moderately annoyed at you for bringing it up. Holy shit, this got gold. Thank you kind stranger. I remember when I thought this was a successful post when it had only like 30 upvotes. Sometimes we pee on the poo stains in the toilet because we are too lazy to use the scrub. Sometimes we don't talk to people cause we don't want to intimidate them. I might see a girl with a cool shirt on but I don't want to make her think I'm coming onto her or something. Rather than freak her out that a 6 feet 6 guy thinks she looks good today. I just leave her alone. Especially if we're on an elevator or something where she can't leave if she actually is uncomfortable. We get our ped too. Can confirm I was molested by a neighbor's babysitter, 15f, when I was 7. SX isn't all we want in a relationship. I'd rather be with someone who understands me but only does it once in a while than someone who I have SX with every day but don't connect with emotionally and mentally. Some of us are into things like cooking, cleaning, makeup, fashion, etc. It doesn't necessarily mean we're gay. Please don't tell us to man up. A lot of us were constantly told that growing up whenever we tried to express ourselves so you're saying it will often bring up bad memories. Men can be abused. Men can be raped. Men also tend to be more suicidal because society tells us we're weak if we try to discuss these things. No. We don't enjoy being upheld by a hot girl. And we often don't talk about it because people will often straight up tell us we're lying about it if we do. If we haven't carried in all the shopping in one go. We haven't done it right. IDK if other guys feel this too. But I'm always afraid of accidentally making women feel uncomfortable in my presence. For example when I happen to walk in the same direction as a woman in front of me for a while. And I'm not even interested in women in the first place. Maybe this is more of a dad secret but. I don't babysit my own kids. That's called fathering damn it. My dad served in the Pacific during World War II. A kid from the Bronx. He had never been out of the Bronx in his entire life. Then he got sent to New Guinea. Decades later. As he lay dying in the hospital bed. He told us. As his young friends were being slaughtered by other young men. Just before they died. They always cried for their mothers. Never for their fathers. Always for their mothers. He said. They were just kids. Just kids being slaughtered by other kids. And then they died. In his arms. Their last words were always. Where is my mother? Where is my mother? Where is my mother? Never for their fathers. That affected him for his entire life. And dad lived a long time. He was the lucky one. If you compliment my appearance I will probably remember forever. I still remember when a girl in college told me I look nice with my beard when I first grew it out. I've had a beard ever since. I remember two years ago when a girl told me my eyes are beautiful. We have the magical power of thinking about nothing. Man spreading isn't a s little thing. Nice try Audrey. After a shower. We have no problem drying our balls and face with the same towel. Most of the time we try to dry the face first. Then the sack. But sometimes we have to go back to the face. We just hope we use an uncontaminated part of the towel. Edit. Uncontaminated. My balls are clean after a shower. Just. You know. Wiping the balls then wiping my face is just kind of. Yay. And then by the next day the towel forgets and it resets. I'm secretly an emotional wreck. I just hide it. As an older man. We don't expect you to look like a supermodel as we age together. Yes. At times I do see you as I did 30 years ago and every wrinkle and flaw disappears. Yes. There are times I see every wrinkle and flaw. And know how you got every one of them. They are beautiful too. It's not uncommon for us to genuinely think you're beautiful without any makeup. This comment will be buried. But those perfectly round toilets suck. 
It's super annoying when your junk touches the inside of the toilet bowl. Your chances of getting what you want out of us are infinitely higher if you tell us directly. I just spent the last hour shouting all of these to my husband in the other room. And him replying. Bunch of snitches in this thread. We don't care how popular or unpopular you are with other women. So it shouldn't factor into how you value yourself when dating. Edit. Thanks for the gold internet stranger. When people come crying to us. Our first inclination is to fix the problem. Since this is, often, not possible. Lead with something along the lines of can I vent for a minute? Or anything that signals to us this is just a time for active listening. Rather than a problem solving session. When we want to be alone. It's not that we don't want to be around you. It's that we don't want to be around anyone for a bit. Men want to be wanted and desire too. I can count the number of times a woman has come out and either asked me out or told me she was attracted to me on one hand. And from my understanding that is a high number. We don't miss hints because we are dense or stupid. We miss them because we have learned the hard way that sometimes it's just a friendly compliment or some such. That embarrassment sticks with you. If you've ever looked at a dude and though wow he's attractive I'd like to go out with him go talk to him. Men love confident women. And even if he doesn't reciprocate he will make his day. Or maybe even his year. If we tie down anything in the back of a pickup truck or trailer it's physically impossible for us not to stand back and say that's not going anywhere. These guy secrets seem to fall into three areas. Male genitalia. Toilet habits and the lack of psychic powers when it comes to women. Got it. There is no amount of hot sx that will stop us from masturbating as soon as we're alone. It's two separate releases and you just filled up the spank bank. We really do think your hair is good. It looked good before and after you got a haircut. It looked good curly and it looked good straight. It looked good when you woke up and when you made it. As long as it's shaped like the hair we gave girls on stick figures when we were 5 years old. We think it looks good. Men can think a woman is hot without being as sorely attracted to her. Men can think other men are hot without being as sorely attracted to them. Some men can have a respect for someone's looks regardless of their sx. It doesn't mean they want to screw that chick or that guy. It just shows a level of appreciation for the way someone looks or the way they carry themselves. We don't get the hint. Saying I almost broke my neck in the driveway is not the same as asking us to shovel it. In my mind I'm thinking thanks for the heads up. I'll be careful. When the penis is flaccid. We sometimes like to stretch it out or tuck it inside our balls for fun. You can squeeze the head of your penis and the tip lips will move like a mouth and you can talk to it. Oftentimes, We genuinely don't care where we go to eat because we're just hungry and want food. Any food. As long as you eat some too. Edit. I'm glad someone liked my toilet comment enough to give me gold. I'm a girl and I've found out through the years that when guys say something. Don't think too much into it. Like what's the hidden meaning? Don't overthink it. Guys normally say stuff that should be taken at face value. At the urinals we typically pee on soap bars. The mental struggle we have to go through to not scratch around our groin in a public setting. It'll take 100% of my willpower to not do it. The itching can drive me insane yet the euphoria from actually scratching it is so good. I often imagine this must be what it's like scratching a dog's ears. The nod. When you see a guy you don't know. Or kind of know but don't really know well enough to talk to walks by. You give a subtle nod of your head. Which they return. I talk to my wife about it and she confirms that women do not do this. But that they sometimes smile instead. Edit. Because it keeps coming up. Some girls also give the nod. Typically. An up nod is for your friends. And a down nod is for strangers or less than friends. This could subconsciously have to do with a bearing or hiding of the throat. Thanks everyone for the comments. Edit 2. Some women nod also. I have been told. 
No need to add another identical comment. Ladies. You need to slap us across the face and yell FCK me now at the top of your lungs in order for us to get a hint. Edit. No. I don't encourage violence. But writing ladies. Exclaim in a clear and calm voice, sir. Would you want to engage in SZL intercourse? I have a brochure with pre coital activities we can amuse ourselves with just doesn't have that comedic punch to it. Jesus loves some of you guys more than others. Every guy has. At one point. Used their erection to hold up a towel upon exiting the shower with an unwanted erection. We desperately want you to toss us things instead of just handing them to us. Us no matter how you shake and dance. The last two drops go in your pants. As a favor. I worked on a girl's car one time and got pretty dirty. Afterwards. She asked me if I wanted to come inside and take a shower. I told her no because I hadn't brought any clean clothes to put on after the shower. She just kinda giggled. Yeah. Us guys aren't exactly too bright when it comes to reading between the lines. I had a girl tell me that my haircut look nice. I've kept that same haircut for 4 years since then. Edit. Hey thanks for my first gold. And silver. Rad. Edit 2. Platinum. Thank you so much. You're a legend. We can't move our penis without closing our butthole. Edit. Thanks for all the silver and the gold. This is really blowing up. You just made men all over the internet clench their ass. That's power you can't buy. Not sure if this is universal. But guys usually have least one pastime for which the process and ritual is just as satisfying. If not Marizo. Than the outcome. One example is my morning espresso. If I'm making it. Being interrupted or rushed is very disruptive. To the point where I'd rather not have started it. For others it may be washing the car, barbecue, or shaving. But try to mind when guys are doing something where the means are and end in and of themselves. Being able to fully invest in these gratifying rituals is fulfilling to a surprising degree. Just because we're in the shower for an abnormally long time doesn't mean we're jerking off. Guys like to have long hot showers too yeah no. I like hugs. You monster I bet you like hand holding too. Nice try buzzfeed. I'm not staring at you. I'm zoned out thinking about how I'd start a brewery in medieval England whilst my eyes just happen to be facing your direction. Edit. Guys also like to be walked up to and asked out. If you have a son. Don't rush into his room and demand that he get up immediately to do chores or some shti. He definitely has morning wood and would appreciate not needing to hide a boner from his mom. Guys have damn near zero ability to hold a grudge if an apology is genuinely offered and accepted. Hell. Most guys have a great friend in their lives that started out with some shtty misunderstanding but worked itself out. Women can nurse a grudge in ways most men cannot fathom. Just because I got pee on the wall. Doesn't mean I'm being lazy. It's because it decided to come out a different direction than where the hose was pointed. Edit. Just to clarify. I did clean it up. But at 6 in the morning sometimes you miss a spot. The good Olay fork in the road. We hate it when girls talk about their ex-boyfriend or ex-love interest. Unless you're going for the let her complain to you and then have her realize how wonderful and nice you are method. Also. Guys cry too. There is an unwritten rule of bathroom urinal etiquette that is never taught to young men. But is somehow universally known. When a man enters a public restroom to pee in the urinal. He is to occupy every other available urinal from other urinating men. Meaning. The prime peeing positions are in urinals 1. 3. And 5 if that is available. 2 and 4 should only be occupied if there are no other choices. If. By some unfortunate circumstance. You come across urinal 1 and 4 and use. With 2 and 3 open. Always go for urinal 3. When 4 leaves it balance it back out to odd numbered urinals being used. 
on hot days her balls get stuck to her thighs and it feels like they've been bonded together by super glue. Most guys at some point in life have probably tried to suck their own dick. Source. We like our alone time too with or without being in a relationship. If I'm at work sometimes I'll just want to unwind on my lunch hour and enjoy some quiet solitude or at home. There are weekends I don't want to go out and do anything. And if you're in a relationship. Us being quiet doesn't always correlate to us being angry or upset. Legitimately sometimes we're just quiet because we're thinking about fixing something or a new hiking trail or whatever else. Boners don't automatically mean arousal. That will never be said enough. Edit. I hate this comment simply because it made me miss my 69. 420 karma mark. Constant bones are a righteous pain. Yes. Having a skeleton brings naught but sheer agony. Many guys are actually really lacking in confidence. Usually due to bad experiences or otherwise. Some just want to feel loved once in a while. Hanging with the guys is great and all. But a genuine hug. Or even just a compliment. From someone of the opposite sx can really turn someone's day around. Make them feel wanted. Many of those creepy guys just don't get that interaction often. So when they do. It's mind blowing and overwhelming. Others. Like me. Are bitter and jaded by bad experiences. Have a hard time trusting anyone. Someone genuine is rare. But too much can be terrifying. Sometimes we just want to vent. Sometimes we want to be held. Or sometimes we just want company. We all do stupid shti with other guy friends when you're not around. If we do it in front of you. And or encourage you to join. It means we really trust you. And our friends see you as a bro. 2. Colon. If you could read your mail so thoughts. We all know who killed JFK. Dude WTF. Check the bro code section for chapter 3 line 2. We're never meant to talk about that. My free time is not a ref king excuse to run your errands. Sometimes we em stir but just to pass the time. It is not s -zool at all. It is a bit like making a coffee to pass 10 minutes. Guys like to be complimented too. Nothing makes my day more than having someone compliment me about something random like my shoes. The best way to itch your balls is to lightly pinch where it itches and twist it like a small ball of play-doh. We manspread because our balls are being squished and it is really uncomfortable. Edit. We are tia seeing your signs that you're into us. We are tia seeing intentional signs. We are great at seeing desert like mirages when in fact you just loaned us a pencil. No man hasn't gotten a boner in front of class during a presentation. I don't know if this is a guy's secret. Or just an introvert thing. If I ask for time alone. It usually has nothing to do with you. I just need some recovery time to myself. I can only handle so much socialization in a given week. Most of us have been sexually harassed or assaulted by the modern definition, like getting your ass or crotch grabbed by someone. And people probably laughed at you when it happened. It bothers most of us. And most of us have probably mentioned it to a close guy friend as a vent joke. Like. Man that was kinda embarrassing and f ked up if you think about it over beers type thing. But we don't really bring it up. When you ask what are we thinking about and we say nothing. We really mean it. Never underestimate a guy's ability to not being thinking about stuff at all times. Sometimes we like to be the little spoon. If the big spoon is smaller than you it's called a jetpack. Only weirdos choose to piss in the urinal next to you when there are plenty of open urinals along the wall. Also if we have to use the toilets to piss. Whisper piss. When you stop answering messages regularly at night. As a skinny dude. I don't want you to talk about how skinny I am. I don't know how to respond. I eat over 4. 000, 000 calories a day and I'm working with a trainer 2 days a week and I'm extremely self conscious about it. I'm also 30 and can't grow a beard. Put these two things together and I want to hide. 
the desire to touch the top of the doorframe is a primal one. I can't understand it. I just do it. We're not manspreading. We are not showing our dominance over women by taking as much room as possible or to show off. We have balls. They're very sensitive to pressure. Temperature and more. A little spread is the most comfortable for us to sit because of it. If you want need to sit next to us vast majority will compromise for you over our slight discomfort. Thank you for understanding. It's actually not always so easy to get an erection. Sometimes he's tired. Or he's nervous or worried. Or he's on meds that make it difficult. Antidepressants are notorious for this, or any number of things. The stereotype is that men are always ready to get up and go. But this is far from true. So don't expect it. And don't be offended when his dick doesn't want to play. Even if he does.